Well, hey there, YouTube. It's Petey Two Finger, and I'm here to recommend the other 1972 movie. Uh, it is a American horror psychological thriller film directed by Robert Mulligan, who did a uh, Mockingbird movie. Um, it's, it was a book, and a woman by the name of Uta Hagen uh, stars in this movie along with these twin boys, Chris and Martin. Udvarnaki, Ud, Udvarnaki, Chris and Martin Udvarnaki, a young John Ritter as supporting roles. There's a lot of women in this movie in supporting roles. It's set on, the film uh, takes place in the past and what seems to be like maybe Dust Bowl or like uh, Olden, like they've got electricity but they're using icebox you know, chunks of ice to keep their food in the refrigerator cold. It takes place on a farmhouse. This movie was made before the slasher movies like Friday the 13th. So, you know, it's a 1972 movie and it's a pre-MTV attention span movie. So th what that means is that um, it might, like some millennials or something, like if you're, you're just going to talk over the beginning of it, like you kind of got to pay attention. You have to earn figuring out what's going on in this movie but it keeps you interested there's a decent kill count decent amount of weird stuff going on supernatural stuff going on uh, the movie uh, excels at its acting the child acting is absolutely stellar typically in a movie the child actor will be too smart or cocky or telling jokes all the time or act like an adult this is not like that at all. The, the boys are excellent in it. They are constantly, you never stop running and getting into everything. They look like they smell. I was thankful that I had a couple of girls instead of a boy or, uh, oh my goodness, two boys. Uh, the, a lot of female, uh, not a lot of strong male presence in this movie, but this Uta woman, she was a stage actress that also had an acting school. And she is just, she's great as the magical foreign woman. Now, the there is some disturbing elements in this. This is not for the kids. Um, it will kind of stick with you a little bit, but it's a little bit hokey. The ending is a little loose. I could have preferred the ending to go one way or the other. Uh, but there's also, uh, there's a pretty good kill count in this movie and there is enough shocking stuff to go to keep you uh it ramps as as and it keeps on you know getting more and more so even though this is an old movie that it's pre mtv attention span um it works well on its strengths being it's acting and uh all the plot elements really work together well. There is some disturbing stuff in this movie, uh, but it's pr it's pretty tame. It really is. The main thing that I took away from this was that it was a really, really good movie with really good performances, great acting in it. And uh, how come I never heard of this? There's so I've seen a lot of scary or horror movies that don't even come close to uh, how good this movie was. I would put, I, and I, I know this is a, a strong statement, but I would put this up there with Phantasm and The Shining. It's that, it's that good. So check out the other. And let me know what you thought in the comments after you've seen the movie. You guys take care of yourselves. It's starting to get chilly. Stay warm. Hug your pets. And peace.